Ever find yourself in a situation where you're wondering, why is this woman not always ready for me? When I'm ready to, you know, to do the do, she's always giving me excuses of like, oh, not today, please, I'm not in the mood. Oh, I'm not feeling fine, maybe another time. And you keep wondering, every time, when will she be ready for you? Well, wonder no more, because in this video, you're going to find out why a woman is not ready to have sex with you, even when you're so ready. Number one, hormones. Hormone, na number one culprit. In fact, woman and hormone, na five and six. Is it that she's on a period, or she's pregnant, or she has just put to bed, she's breastfeeding, and all of her hormones, like her system is thrown upside down, and she can't even seem to find herself. So women are always hormonal. I'm not saying this as a scientist that i'm saying this as a woman and as a mom even as a single girl before i got married sometimes the period comes and it's as if the whole world is coming to an end the cramps the pains in fact everything becomes so irritating to you now when you get married and you become pregnant it's a different ball game altogether sometimes you don't even want to be touched all right, so hormone is the number one culprit why she's not always ready for you. Before I continue this line of subject, I'd like to say here that I am referring to sexual relationships within the confines of marriage, right? Please, if you never call a license, I used to be you, I know they support that one, and they talk about husband then and then wife okay now let's kick it another thing that also triggers these things and makes her like like completely crushes her libido is contraceptives it's like what we call family planning there are some of these contraceptives that when a woman has it in her body ah it kind of like throws her under the bus like she doesn't even know where her libido is anymore she might be with you in the house for six months complete and she won't even you know do as if saying a woman or do like say she didn't even see man i take myself for example right ever since i had this uh, implant all inserted into my arm honestly it has like completely thrown my libido upside down sometimes if not because my husband understands all right you think that ah, does she not even have the urge? Like, what's happening? I understand what this thing does to me. And apart from that, so there are other things it does to your body. There are other symptoms it presents with, okay? So, but this is like one of the things that is going to maybe affect somehow if there is no understanding. It's going to maybe affect your relationship with your husband that is why i'm using myself as an example so hormone is one of the thing that like ah if you don't understand this thing and you think that your wife is something else that is why it's always encouraging to have conversations with your wife you know have that discourse talk about it so that she can open up to you and tell you how she feels and you can also know the reasons behind every behavior right number two how do you smell Eh, some men you don't know that eh? you would have gone out you know sweat and all of that you come back home it's fine you come back and you wash up and all of that but when you don't use good deodorant i'm not even talking about perfumes here something as simple as a roll-on right when you don't use like roll-on on your underarm and you know you don't shave your underarm because there's something about using roll-on when you don't shave your underarm and you apply it on the smell is still going to be there so it's very important that you shave your underarm and you use a very good roll-on so that you can curtail whatever sweat smell you're going to break out with. Because some women cannot stand this. I'm telling you the fact. For her to really enjoy you and, you know, you need to smell good. The thing is that sometimes you might not even know that this odor or this smell are there. That is why you need some people, you need some very good friends that will tell you that guy, ah, you the ooze now, you don't know, you know. Another thing is your mouth odor. This one too is somehow because you might not know that you have this mouth odor, especially if you're kind of person that you know you just sit on your computer for four hours on a stretch or even five hours on a stretch and you're walking, you don't even see anything. When you open your mouth, sometimes you know, try and just know <laughs> these things are important. Another area again is this whole early morning affair. You know how they did in early momo. Sometimes the breath is ah is not breathing. So please, you can keep a mouthwash maybe on the side of your bed. When you wake up like that, you can just you know, take a little bit of mouthwash, you know, pour it out. And so that your breath can be fresh. When you work on all these areas, trust me, you will just see like a tremendous change immediately. This one may be rocket science. It works. All right. She might not tell you or maybe it depends on your level of openness with each other. I've seen relationships where, you know, couples hardly jokes with each other. Everybody is just like, you know 
Jim 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 Jim. So in situations like that, say when things they happen, she nobody even tell you. So it's important to take note of all these things. Make sure that ah, it's check, it's check. You know, and other part of your body is very okay. The other reason why she might not willingly want to always be there and do it with you is how do you treat her? You know, like they say, uh, a woman, when you want to get through to her body, you have to go through her mind. You have to treat her well. What are the things you say? Men, use your words. This, your words, they are so powerful. Some men don't even understand how powerful your words are to a woman, right? Because women are generally moved by what they hear. Not all of them, but 98% of women are moved by what they hear. That is how they fall in love. What are you telling them? Use your words. Take advantage of that. I'm not saying lie to her or flatter her or say things that are not real, all right? But just say the right words. Not that you won't talk to her for three days, you just come back and you're like, you know, no, just talk to your woman. Your words, eh? your mouth, that your words, now dear the magic day, use it. Don't neglect it, too. don't say, why would I have to tell her I love her? Don't she know that I love her? If I don't love her, will I be hustling every minute, every day and night to walking in this house and walking outside the house? Yes, all of that. She knows, but she also needs to hear it. We thrive on reassurance. Men that understand these things, they hardly have problem with all of these things we're talking about. So if they go get problem for that relationship, no be all this one we would talk about. This one's this one's don't pass, you know. Speak the right words to her. Tell her she's beautiful. You know, when you don't they tell her all these things, you're melting her heart. And by the time it's time for you to, you know, do the do, she's already ready for you because like psychologically, mentally, she's ready for you. She's pleased by what you say to her and she's waiting safe. In fact, uh, when you tell her the right words, even when you never make the move, seven, now she will even come, they come meet you. Why? Because she's like down for you. Like they say in Nigeria, she believes you, bah, you know? <laughs> so use your words. No ever slack for that area. You see all these them Casanova guys, they know the secret. That's why you see them. They have the sweetest of mouths. You can keep four or five ladies and be lying to them because they know that women are moved by what they hear. So they keep telling them these things. Even when they are broke asses, they can still find women that would fall for that. Why? Because it not be her fault. You're telling her the right thing and she's happy hearing the things you're telling her. So these are some of the reasons why you might, anytime you come, she did, ah, she did join face and just doing it and her mind is not there. Use your words, smell good and understand that sometimes genuinely she's not in the mood genuinely her hormones are like all over the place her emotions are all over the place and she might not be able to do it at that time and it doesn't mean that she doesn't love you but when you have understanding of this you'll be able to treat her better and be more sympathetic with her sometimes thank you so much for watching my name is Wendy Zil. if you're seeing my face for the very first time thank you for tuning in and for watching to this very point Kudos, kudos, kudos. Please, before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell. That's how you know that I've posted a new video, right? And that's how this video can be pushed to other people who need content like this. Stay blessed, stay cheerful as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.